Hey guys, Spees here. We're taking a look at the new healing class added into the uh, Dragonlands uh, here. They are called, the class is called Invokers, and their talent that makes them a healer is called Preservation. So, they are Preservation invo uh, Invokers. What do Preservation Invokers and Invokers in general bring? They're all about movement. So, they come with a raid buff that's called Blessing of the Bronze. It says basically reduce um, a major cooldown ability of every class member that has this buff by 15%. So everyone gets 15% cooldown on their big movement ability. Also a big ability for this class is called Hover. Um, you burst forward and then you fly around and while you're hovering you can cast most spells. And why do I say most spells? Because they have special spells called and, uh, empowered spells. What are empowered spells? When you empowered spells, you have to hold in the button, and as you're holding it in, it can charge up to a second and third level that makes the spell more powerful. So, just to see a damage ability called Fire Breath, if you would just press it and let it go, it would be at level one. It deals twelve. Uh, 1200 damage over four seconds but if you held it in it does more damage over a longer period of time and as most of these spells when you cast them you get a targeting circle or targeting area that you can move around so i don't know if you noticed but as i held that in it doesn't automatically fire once you hit level three it lets you hold it in for a little bit longer and that's just so you can have to a last second re uh adjustments with your aim if needed so now let's just look at the spells for uh preservation invoker now for the most part a lot of your spells come from the talent trees now but a lot of these spells are near the top of the ta talent tree so m most of these spells every invoker is going to have so let's just go over them your basic Heal is a single target heal called Living Flame. One second cast. And um, it heals for a little bit. Also, if you cast it on an enemy, it will deal damage to them. Interesting. Now, your next spell, which is kind of your AoE healing spell. It's called Emerald Blossom here. If you notice, it says here, right under its name, it costs three essences. That's another thing with the Invoker class. They have these essences that you start with five, and some spells say they cost essence. So, But basically the spell says spend three essence. You put a, um, uh, it says here, an Emerald Dream at an ally's location, and after two seconds heals up to three allies within for, ten, uh, within for about 3K. So instant cast, boom, you press it, Leaves a little circle on the ground. After a couple seconds, the circle pops, heals everyone in it. And as you can see here, here's the essences respawning. Uh, they cost, take about three or four seconds. So you can't spam this ability, but you can get one out. And then get another one out within a few seconds. There is a talent that gives you another essence point if you want to have it. So you can spam two out right away. So, that's one way of AoE healing. Kind of your weaker one, AoE healing, but it's a little bit more spammable than your big AoE healing called Dream Breath. Dream Breath is one of those empowered spells. You inhale, if you hold it in, it heals for more and has less of a cooldown the longer you hold it in. So, here we go. Hold it in. Look at that. It's a big area in front of you. Let it go. Heal everyone, has 15 second cooldown if you hold it all the way, but this is your big AoE nuke. Or not nuke, I'm sorry, AoE heal. Next is, let's see what it gives you on the talent tree next. Echo. So Echo is basically the, the most important heal for this class. I'm going to skip it for now and just explain some of the other spells we have, because that then I'll go back and explain Echo once you have the knowledge of all the other healing spells. So Reversion, basically this is a hot you put on someone. It has a 7.6 second recharge, repairs an ally's injuries, healing them for 4k over 12 seconds. 
when it critically heals, it extends. So, like I said, it's just a heal. Instant cast. Puts a little healing on them. There's some other talents and passives that deal with um, this hot. But it's just a basic hot. Over here, um, Spirit Bloom. This is your basically big single target heal. And it says, you char it's also an empowered spell. So you charge it up. It always heals for 9k. But the longer you charge it, the overhealing will be split between more allies. So it can be up to, normally it heals that person and one other person. But if you charge it up level 2, it heals second ally. A third, the overhealing will bounce to third ally. And let's just show that here. I'm going to do it on myself. I'm going to show you some NPCs around. You can see it bounce off me. Hold it in. Let it go. Boom. Does a lot of healing. It's your big single target heal. It normally has a 15 second cooldown. I have a talent right underneath that reduces it to 15 seconds. I found it with a 30 second cooldown. I wanted it off cooldown quicker to use it some more because... was always a good single target heal. This spell over here is called Temporal Anomaly. Send forward a vortex of temporal energy healing three injured allies within 12 yards. So here we go. going to push it. Shoots out this ball. It heals everyone. When it hits an ally that needs healing, it slows down. It doesn't completely stop, but it moves basically at 10% of the speed it was doing now. So this is basically... A skill shot. You got to line up who you want it to heal, shoot it out. Once it hits them, it will start healing them, and then it will slow down and continuously heal them as it slowly moves through them. So those are your basic healing spells. Now let me go back to Echo, the one I skipped over. And as you can see, it's at the top of the, the tree, so it's a pretty important spell. It says, wrap an ally in temporal energy, healing them from 2k and causing your next non-echo healing spell to cast an additional time on that target for 100% of normal healing. So the idea about this one is, this is a, a spell you more want to plan ahead. If you know someone's going to take some damage or if there's some big AoE coming out, you want to get some echoes out. And as you, if you notice how it was worded, it said non-echo healing spells will be copied onto that person. Also, one thing I got a little excited about and skipped over, it costs two essences. So, can't spam this, but it only costs two, and you start with five. So you can get two out. By the time you cast the second one in a row, you can cast the third one out if you wanted. But the idea of this is you get Echo on someone, and then if I cast a Living Flame on this guy, it will also cast a Living Flame on me. So, this is how you kind of want to plan around your healing with this class, is the healing with Echo. It's kind of weird because if you know like some big AoEs coming out, say some boss is here and he's going to AoE all my friends here, I can go echo this guy, echo this guy, and then charge up a big AoE heal, and it heals everyone, and those echoes also got consumed and healed them again for that amount. Or, another good way I've found to use it is to, you can echo, I have echo on myself, and then I can cast Spirit Bloom, the big single target heal, and boom, it also heals me too. Now, I don't know if the echo causes a jump out like the original one did. But even if it doesn't, just copying that initial big uh, single target heal is a way to get more healing out as a uh, preservation invoker. Because... Uh, before I go into that statement, let's just say Echo is a very important spell that you kind of have to plan around. 
you kind of want to have it out before the damage comes out. Because if the damage comes out, then you have to be like, oh crap, echo this guy, echo this guy, then cast my big single target, and then by the time you're doing all that, everyone falls over dead. So echo, <laughs> it's kind of weird to play around. It's something you want to get out beforehand, and you also have to be planning of what heal you want to copy with those echoes you're setting up. So you kind of have to do think ahead with this healing now, before I get to my final thoughts of them, we got to look at the two raid cooldown or the uh, the raid cooldown they have and the personal cooldown you can cast on someone. So the personal cooldown you can cast on someone it's called time dilation. You basically cast it on someone, and it says for the next eight seconds, seventy percent of the damage. It's normally fifty percent, but I took a talent that made it seventy. So. For the next 8 seconds, 70% of the damage that they would take instead is dealt over 8 seconds. This, if this sounds familiar, it's the Brewmaster monks, the tanks. Um, it's their stagger ability that they have on all the time. Now you can cast it on someone to basically save them from a big hit they're going to take. If there's some kind of boss ability that going to hit someone um you can just once again you have to think ahead like what you do with echo cast it on them before they take the big damage the big damage hits them it's not so big because now it's spread over eight seconds very very interesting uh personal cooldown you can cast on someone now the big raid raid cooldown is rewind it says rewind 50 percent of the damage taken in the last five seconds by all allies in 40 yards so basically, boss does big AoE, you just press this button, and you instantly heal 50% of it back. Interesting. So, yeah, that is um, Preservation of Vokers in a nutshell. Now, there are some abilities down here that I, I guess I should talk about. Um, Zephyr, this... This is in the class tree, so even DPS um, invokers can take this. But it is another raid cooldown that says, basically it says, um, for 25 yards around you, everyone takes 20% less damage from AoE abilities, and their movement speed is increased by 30% for 8 seconds. Another way this class... Uh, Works with movement speed, but it's another interesting raid cooldown. Some boss just does some big AoE that hits everyone. You can click this, does 20% less damage. If it's some boss that does some pulsing AoE that goes on for 5 seconds, this gets all those pulses over that, that time for 8 seconds. So... There's all the basic abilities. I don't want to go too deep into the talent tree because then you're fine-tuning everything. But what is my thought of this of these healers? They are very interesting. They're very mobile. Hover makes it so you can hover around, cast some spells while you're moving around. Very interesting. But they do have two weaknesses that I guess... If you're planning ahead with your echoes, it covers that weaknesses, but outside of Spirit Bloom as your single target healing, it is a big, single, huge single target heal, but outside of that, you don't really have any single target healing. So you have to plan ahead. If someone, like, Living Flame is supposed to be, like, your filler healing spell, but it heals like a wet paper towel. So that's one, and that's a little problem that the class has is, but like I said, I spec this in the 15 seconds. With Outside of those 15 seconds, if someone needs heals, you can throw some Emerald Blossoms on them, maybe... A dream breath or maybe next time plan out your echoes better but yeah outside of spirit bloom it's kind of weak single target healing the other weakness they have is outside of emerald blossom does do some um 
AoE healing, but it doesn't do a lot. Uh, Dream Breath does do a lot of AoE healing, but it has a 15 second cooldown if you're able to hold it in the whole time. But outside of that time, you don't have a lot of AoE healing. Once again, you got to set up good echoes before that so you have good AoE healing. Kind of hard to set up now in the alpha. Everything is new. Everyone is just testing things, so no one's playing up up ugh. no one's playing at their best. <laughs> so people are just taking damage left and right. And I'm sitting here going, I just dragon's breath and threw out a bunch of emerald blossom and people still need healing. Uh gotta wait for my cooldowns to come up. But if you notice here at the bottom of the tree all three of their like main abilities at the bottom of the tree helps their AoE healing. So it does. These talents do cover that weakness. The one I took is called Cycle Life. It says your Emerald Blossom leaves behind Tiny Sprout, which gathers 5% of your healing over the next 10 seconds. And then after that 10 seconds, it pops and throws out that healing. Kind of similar to Shaman's Cloud Burst Totem, but a lot weaker. But... There's other talents I have that makes it so one Emerald Blossom can um, make more Emerald Blossoms. So sometimes this just chains and I have Emerald Blossoms everywhere and they're all even around little seeds. But it's kind of random. I can't control this. <laughs> I can control the one it's cast, but sometimes it just pops into a whole bunch of more Emerald Blossoms everywhere. And I'm like, oh, this is awesome. I didn't really need the AoE healing, but it looks pretty. <laughs> Now, the other two abilities are more AoE healing you can control. This one is just a one-minute cooldown dream flight. You fly in the air in front of you in a line. Do AoE healing along that line. Heal people. Leave a hot on them for 15 seconds. Just another filler AoE healing for, like I said, their weakness of outside dream breath. And the little healing you get from Emerald Blossom can fix... You know, some more AoE healing. But now this ability over here, it's another interesting one. But it's similar to Echo where you really got to think ahead. And I'm not a good thinker, so if you notice here, I didn't take it. Because <laughs> I don't want to do a lot of thinking. But it says your next three helpful spells. Uh, it causes your next three helpful spells to be duplicated and stored within this lock. And then after 30 seconds, you can press it again to unleash those spells again. So if you know some big AoE is coming, you can be like, you can slam down uh, Stasis, then be like, Dream Breath. And then throw out two Emerald Blossoms. And then they're stored in that. They're stored in that Stasis. And then if another chunk of AoE comes out quickly, you can hit Stasis again and just shoot all that AoE healing out, it, out again. Interesting spell. And like I said, it fixes the one pro problem I've found with the class is that all your AoE healing is cooldown based. And if you're caught outside of that, you're like, oh crap, I don't have AoE healing. But those three talents fix that little problem. And that's the end of my little rant. This first look at Preservation Invokers. Hope everyone enjoyed watching. And I'll see you next time.